to give you your debt-free Friday fix. Today we're gonna to be talking about five myths all about budgeting. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel, my name is Gia. I post all types of videos from being a working mom, Costco, cleaning, and my personal favorite, which is personal finance. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below and become a part of my YouTube family. And for those already subscribed, welcome back. All right, so let's talk about these budgeting myths. But before we talk about them, you know, what's really scary is that most households don't even have a budget. Even though almost every corporation in America has a budget, most businesses work with a budget, um, most people just feel like they don't need a budget, which is just crazy to me. You know, if Apple has a budget, who is, you know, one of the top 10 companies in America, uh, revenue wise has a budget and works with a budget why don't you feel like you need one i mean people act like they're too good or too busy to create one and so today we're gonna bust through these uh top five myths number one budgeting is for broke people it's just a nasty stigma that comes with the word budget or you're on a budget or you're balling on a budget it's just like you, it's just this negative connotation that um if you're on a budget that means you're broke no, that means if you follow a budget, that means you're smart and you make smart financial decision, decisions and you know where your money's going. That's what a budget helps us do. It helps us to decide where our budget is going, where our money is going and what we want it to do. If you don't have a budget, money is just comes and goes and you spend it, you'll overspend it and you don't know exactly where you're spending your money at because every single penny counts. Number two. Creating a budget is just way too complicated, okay? First of all, don't get intimidated about it. You know, when you have, when, when I say every penny counts and that you should, you should know where every single amount of income that comes into your house, where it goes, some people get intimidated by that. It's really, really easy. You can actually download my free zero-based budget down below to get you started uh, to pretty much track all of your income and all of your expenses. It's super simple and you don't have to make it overly complicated. If you don't like Excel, you're more than welcome to just take out a pen and paper, old school, old school style, and write down what you, what you make and write down what you spend. Um, and just lay it all out there so that you, you at least start because that's the hardest part I think is just starting. Number three, it just takes too much time. I'm just too busy, I don't have enough time. That's not true, okay? It takes me literally 15 minutes to reconcile my budget every single month. I teach it in detail in my course all about, you know, how to budget, how to get out of debt, how to stay out of debt, how to, how to make better financial decisions. My course that I teach, Over Budget to Overjoyed, goes in detail about that, but it literally takes me no more than 15 minutes. There's so many tools and software and apps out there to provide us with the information we need to make it easier for us. And also a lot of uh, our banks and online banks do a lot of it for us as well. You can learn more about my course, Over Budget to Overjoyed. The link for that is down below. Number four, if I'm on a budget, I can't have fun. That is not true, okay? I'm not saying that you, you know, every single last bit of your money needs to go into savings. No, you have the power to decide where you want your money to go and how much you want it to spend. That's what a budget gives us. It gives us that power to direct our funds and tell it where to go and use money the way it's supposed to be used, which is as a tool. You can create as much fun as you want in your budget. All I'm saying is have the, have the knowledge to know how much you're spending and um, if you should be spending that much. And it, plus it helps you make um, better decisions about where you want your money to go. But you can absolutely have fun and still have a budget. It's up to you to decide how much fun you wanna have. And number five, you have to be good at math and numbers or love numbers in order to have, in order to have a budget. Now, little disclaimer, I love numbers. I love budgets. 
I'm an analyst by trade. That's my day job. So I love that kind of stuff. But it's not true that you have to be good at it in order to have a budget. Like I said, old school pen and paper style, there's software out there that actually does the budgeting for you. Mint.com will literally create the budget for you based on how you've spent your money in the past. It will create a budget for you guys. You don't have to have be good at numbers or be good with math in order to create a budget. That's just an excuse. And you have to remove those excuses in order to move forward. You have the power to have the life that you want to live based on your decisions and your actions, guys. So don't let these myths stop you or intimidate you or make you uh, make you have doubt about uh, the financial decisions that you make or about your budget or anything like that because you wanna just break through that, remove those negative thoughts from your mind and get started. So again, if you haven't downloaded my free zero-based budget template down below, download it down below and get your budget, budgeting life started today. All right, that's it guys. Leave a comment down below and let me know uh, what are some of the myths or stigmatisms you've heard about budgeting or being on a budget or just anything negative about being on a budget. What are some of the things that you've heard before? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.